to another episode of Mantelock Rods. Today we're going to be talking about a different style of meter. This is a WaveTech uh, non-auto ranging style. We're going to be talking about how to set it and some of the basic functions. Okay, so here we're going to be using the WaveTech as an example. Uh, this is just an example of one that doesn't auto range. There's a whole lot of different styles out there. It just gives you an opportunity to take a look at one that uh, doesn't have the auto range feature like the fluke that we looked at in the earlier video did. Uh, you still have your range, what it's good for down here, your category ratings. Uh, you have your lead connections at the bottom for voltage, uh, DC, your resistance measurements, continuity, your common placement, and then if you're going to be using uh, measurements to get current, your 200 milliamp max jack and your 10 amp. Uh, jack max. Above that you have your dial and you can see uh, there's a lot more selections on this one to make. You have to be on the closest setting uh, to what you perceive to be measured in the application that you're working on. If you do try to read something and you're getting an overload you would just click up to the next one until you are within range of that that application. So you got the offsetting on the dial then you have your voltage here for DC. You can see the DC symbol there. And depending on which range you select, you can see the decimal point here move places. Below that, you would again have your resistance measurements. And again, you can see as you click through the ranges, your decimal point will move. Below that you have a setting to check diodes and continuity and it does have the alarm function when you're getting continuity it'll make a tune. Your current or amperage settings are all down here along the bottom. Again you would change your red lead to the appropriate jack depending on where you have it set and what application you're using. This whole section from here to here We'll measure in AC or DC on this particular meter and tell you what range you're working in. It doesn't matter where you have it set inside of here, it'll give you the range of voltage on the current uh, application that you're working on and give you the max point of what your voltage reading would be. Past that you have two more settings for voltage AC. You can see the symbol there for AC. You can select between 200 and 750. It will display a value when you use that setting for AC. And as with any other meter, uh, it does have fuses to protect uh, the amperage readings and it does have a 9 volt battery. If those need replaced, you would take off the back cover Again, they're screws. You uh, remove the screws and you would be able to access that 9 volt battery and those fuses if you needed to do so. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Mantua Garage. Uh, make sure that you tune in for future videos.